Exercise is advised and sometimes even prescribed as an antidote to low self-esteem and even mild depression. So today we're looking at swimming, both the act of swimming as well as the effect that water can have on your mood. Yeah, well let's just say without giving it all away, there are a lot of great reasons to go for a swim. The most commonly known mental health positive for exercise has to be the release of endorphins. These hormones are released by the pituitary gland in response to stress and they reduce our perception of pain. They're kind of like natural analgesic, a natural painkiller. Serotonin is one you may have heard of, but there are other endorphins and they interact with receptors in our brain to reduce our perception of pain and increase feelings of positivity, happiness and well-being. In fact, research has shown that having these feel-good hormones regularly through something such as exercise has deep mental health benefits and actually helps your body deal with stress in general. Did you know that weightlessness can actually help us to feel good? However, most of us are not going to experience space and the effects of living with zero gravity, yet being submerged in water is a pretty close and rather accessible alternative. Now, there's evidence that shows that being submerged increases the flow of blood to our brain, which can actually have an effect on our brain health. Well, a small study has found that actually just from being in water, no swimming required, it's shown to increase the flow of blood to the brain. Now, this had swimmers just being fully submerged in the water measuring that blood flow and then again when the pool had been drained and the evidence for being in the water was pretty high and if you add in the effects of swimming surely that's just going to multiply it. Links with brain health, swimming has potential to help treat stress as well. There's been a study with rats that has shown from swimming, it's actually promoted the growth of brain cells in an area of the brain that is shown to actually break down due to chronic stress. Humans are social creatures and as a result it's proven that social interaction boosts your mood. And swimming can be a really social activity. Now, I know it's hard to hold a conversation while you're actually swimming, unless you're doing head-up breaststroke, but you can have quite a conversation on either end of the lane while you're taking your breaks, as long as you're not in anyone's way. But pre and post swim are a great time to catch up on social activities and have a chat with your friends and fellow swimmers. You can, of course, arrange a coffee after your swim so you can warm up, you get the feeling, good feelings from exercise and, of course, the social interaction. Or you can take it a step further and head to the pub for a meal after your swim session. There have been a lot of positive news stories over the last few years on cold water therapy and it's believed that immersing yourself in cold water, especially swimming even in the outdoors and the natural water, can have a really positive effect on our mental well-being. And there's even been some studies that have shown it can help treat depression. Now this is thought that the shock of the cold water and the stress of that on your body can somehow help you deal with the stress of anxiety and depression. Open water swimming also ties in nicely to that social aspect as it's usually rather cold and you have a lot of people hanging around afterwards warming up, drinking hot chocolates and just chatting and you can't deny that being outside in nature has a feel-good effect as well. And there's also some evidence to prove that people who live by the coast or near the ocean have a better sense of well-being and overall health. Now, the evidence behind this is yet to be proved but I think there's just a lot of reasons for being near water. All of these points are somewhat linked, but this one probably needs its own moment. Relaxation. You can go swimming just for relaxation. We're not talking about swim training here because that test threshold set is going to be anything but relaxing. But you can head to the pool or a lake and just do some gentle, easy swimming for relaxation. Try to think outside of your public pool lanes because those can be a little manic, especially if you time it wrong and get these screaming kids coming out of their lesson and their screaming parents. Perhaps even consider heading to a spa pool. Now I know they're not really that good for training because they're generally too short, but if you're not heading for any lap times, that doesn't really matter. And they're generally quiet and relaxing. You can do a few gentle laps and get all of that mental stress out. 
it's really hard to escape from the stresses of everyday life and the effect of technology. I mean, even when you go out for a run, it's quite often take your phone, you'll get notifications on your watch. But there's something about the tranquility of swimming and being able to switch off, because I think we are all guilty of spending too much time on our screens and just having the stresses from that. Now, if you find just swimming aimlessly up and down a little bit too boring and actually too much time for you to really dwell on those thoughts, then why don't you do something like count your lengths as you go? I mean, personally, I find when I'm counting the distance I'm swimming, working out the pace and the stroke that I'm supposed to be doing, there is no room for any busyness in my mind. And one final mental well-being positive you can get from swimming, or should I say just being in, under, or even just near water. It's related to the color blue that generally surrounds water bodies and pools. Blue mind is a term associated with calm and peace around water. Generally, we are drawn to blue spaces. They increase our feelings of wellness and calmness, probably related to our bodies being made up of 70% water and the earth being covered in 75% water. Therapists are increasingly using water and being in water to treat mental health disorders such as PTSD, anxiety, autism and the like. Being in water, in contact with water or even just near water and here in water can release neurochemicals to make us feel happier and healthier. I'm not really sure that watching us two enjoying swimming or being near the open water is quite going to cut it for you guys, but hopefully you can start to see how huge the benefits are from being near water and for going for a swim. So I would recommend if you can incorporate swimming into your weekly schedule, you will start to see the benefits. Yeah, let us know in the comment section down below how swimming has helped your mental health. And don't forget to like this video to support the channel and subscribe to GTN for all of our videos.